Hello, I'm Stephen Ho, trader, technical analyst and founder of The Stop Hunter. But first, a scenario for you. You want to trade crypto, it doesn't matter which, you see prices skyrocketing. You're one of the last on the boat, FOMO strikes and the prices still go up. You go all in and unfortunately for you, it's right at the top and all of a sudden, bang, disaster happens, the price comes tumbling off you're sat with a horrible position you don't know what to do you should have timed your way into the trade before you should have had a strategy and a plan and in this video i'm going to show you a simple technical analysis approach which i'm going to take you step by step through which should help you you know at least put the odds and the timing more in your favor whilst laying out a systematic approach of buying back into falling markets and hopefully stop your trading feeling like a roller coaster ride and i'm also going to have a look at the behavioral science behind why this strategy should work so let's not hang around and let's jump straight into it <laughs> So before we can carry on, a risk warning for you to pay close attention to. The content in this video is not investment advice, so please seek the advice, help of financial professionals or financial advisors before investing and trading. And trading and investing involves a high degree of risk and your money is at risk, so be very careful. Before we get into the strategy, we've got to look at the science and the science behind it is all about waves and cycles and behavioral uh, psychology of the market and its participants. Now, it doesn't matter what market you're looking at, FX, stocks, commodities, cryptos, they all do the same and that is they move in trends cycles waves that's the price moving in different time frames and because of this it allows you a better opportunity especially when we were looking at our example in the introduction of buying the dip and why is this well it's all to do with human and the market psychology of how the market works and its emotions so let's go back to our example with the prices rocketing how do you think you feel and the market feels at that time it's optimistic it's excited it thrills it's euphoric it gets to the top of that cycle and then people take profits they might get a bit anxious has it done too much they start to sell and then denial fear desperation creep in the price plummets down panic capitulation despondency but there's always someone there at a certain price level who thinks well this is a good price now it's a bargain starts buying and the guy next to them thinks yeah actually they're right and they buy and again that despondency then starts to you know become a bit more depression and then hope builds in relief optimism again and then we go through that same exact cycle excitement thrill euphoria anxiety and this happens time and time again in different time frames long term short term medium term it doesn't matter which and because of that it means there will be an opportunity for you to buy in at a much better price so it's about being patient sitting on your hands and waiting for the right time to get back in and this is what using technical analysis allows you to do So what tools are you going to need for this strategy? Well, it can be used in any chart type pretty much. Candlestick, bar chart, Heikinashi, some of the Japanese ones like uh, Renko or even Line Break. It can work in any time frame and it can also be used in any market, although we're focusing in on cryptos because the behavior of cryptos probably best suit how this sort of strategy works at the moment and the only two technical indicator tools you're going to need 
for this and it is a very simple strategy and sometimes simple is best uh, the Fibonacci and the relative strength index that's it and I'm going to keep it really simple and I would say take this away and experiment and play with markets and time frames yourself back test it see how it works before committing to using this idea first of all let's talk about the setup and what we have got on the chart here well, we've got a standard candlestick chart on the bottom we've got an RSI the relative strength indicator and that's set to seven periods although like I said experiment around with the numbers I like a more aggressive approach I've got a smaller number and on top of the price you'll see the Fibonacci I've used Bitcoin here on a daily chart like I said it can be used in any time frame and I've also just done a bit of price analysis to gauge the swings in the price and also of wanting to focus in on a particular area and that's the pullback between September and October but I've left the data after that period to show you how the Fibonacci and RSI work without that you know I know it's an obvious you know win an obvious setup but this is what we're looking for and I can only show you that by doing it this way so now let's talk a little bit about the price action of Bitcoin over the last few months. If we go to the left hand side on the price there, end of July, we saw a run up of the price of nearly 76%. And that's that period where, you know, I was talking about, you know, the you know, spaceships going to the moon, price going to the moon, the fear of missing out, people are watching that going, when should I buy in? When should I buy in? Should I buy in now? You know, they get it all wrong. And the price topped early September just over 50,000 before as you can see there it fell nearly 25 percent since then it recovered you know further 65 66 percent to today so far but the big question there would be you know when do I actually buy in because a 25 percent fall is pretty significant and you're wondering is it going to go down further am I just throwing my money away how can I time my way back in? I'm still bullish Bitcoin. How can I time my way back in to that trade? And also it helps as well if you bought near the top as well, because you can, you know, you're sitting on that trade thinking, gosh, should I get rid of it? You know, I bought a load of rubbish here. Again, use the tools here to help you, you know, psychologically decide that, you know, it's not going to drop any further. And actually it looks like it's stabilizing and it's going to continue in its uptrend and you might even be tempted to buy some more but basically this example in front of you gives you a good idea of how this strategy and idea works now this is probably how your chart will look once you've set it up and the only manual bit to do is placing on the Fibonacci lines although in trading view certainly you can do auto Fibonacci lines but for the purpose of this I'm going to do it manually so we find our uh, Fibonacci tool and remember we are looking at this period up to this peak here where the price then started to fall off 25% you now for the purposes of this example so we got our floor here now we're looking for the obvious highs and lows okay so you know we can take that up to that high like so and then we can drag that across over here so now really that is the full setup of your analysis and remember we're trading now in here we're sitting on this price coming down and down and down now the key numbers in Fibonacci are 38.2% and 61.8 so that is the area that we're looking for the price to pull back within so you might say well that's quite a big zone you know we've got from here 44,000 down to you know 38,000 but that is a very important Fibonacci um, setup that 38 and 61% lines so we sit there and we wait for the price to come back 
into that zone it might never come back there like we could see it started to stop uh, just above the 38.2% line and that's up to you if you want to go back in but I want to add more certainty to my trade so what I do is I wait and wait and when I start seeing it entering it in the zone I then go down to the RSI and I'm looking for the RSI to be oversold now oversold in RSI world is anything less than 30 so what I see is this going under 30 for the first time but that can stay under 30 for a long time so I want to see it coming back up through 30 and it does happen on the 21st of September and that is the time I buy back into the trade I'm in the zone I'm coming back through 30 I'm back in I'm buying into this trade it's the combination of those two indicators that are letting me decide that it's the right time to get back in again saying if it only got to the 23.6 percent line and I saw it in this 30 under 30 zone coming back through I might be very well inclined to buy back in but with more certainty with that size of pullback into that 38 to 61 0.8% zone plus the RSI gives me that level of confidence and as we can see the price ran up 70 you know percent or so and like I said this doesn't have to be just on the daily time frame it can be you know five minutes one hour three hours test out different instruments so your stages are get the chart set up find that high and low wait for the pullback and marry that in to the RSI being oversold and then go back in it's as simple as that I said try it on other markets and other time frames and other chart types I use it on Renko for example very well and it's exactly the same principles you can even try other indicators uh, that produce over bought and oversold indicators for example stochastics or even stochastic RSI something like that mix it up you know this is just an idea for you to potentially use to help you with your timing and putting the odds more on your side and it's really just as simple as that so there you go a simple strategy to help you buy the dip in very volatile you know fast paced markets such as cryptocurrency so i hope you find it useful and you can apply it in some way into your trading i've found it very useful love to hear your comments on the strategy or whether you use something similar below if you've liked the video and want to learn more about the technical analysis i use i'll also put a link in the description below for you to follow and if you've liked today's video please give us the thumbs up it all helps and don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell buttons to receive future notification of content i'm going to produce just like this and all that's left for me to say now is thanks for watching good luck with the trading and i'll see you in the next video